And Ulama Ikram have mentioned that whenever we make like individual dua also, then before we make our dua in English, in Urdu, in Gujarati, in our mother tongue, it is very, very important for the sake of barakah that you mention the duas of the Holy Quran. Meaning those duas that are mentioned in the Holy Quran. So before you make any other dua, you start with Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Rabbana zalamna. In the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also taught us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned one of the qualities of the believers is when they make dua, this is how they make dua. Rabbana fil lana wa li ikhwanina ladina sabakuna bil iman. That, oh, I will not forgive us. Say, Amen. Amen. Oh, I will not forgive us. But the dua doesn't finish there. It doesn't end. Rabbana fir lana wa li ikhwanina ladina sabakuna bil iman. That, oh, Allah, forgive us and forgive our brothers and sisters that have left this world in the state of iman before us. Amen. This is why we are gathered here. To collectively make this dua. Dua al maghfirat for marhuma. So this word marhuma itself is dua maghfirat because marhuma means mercified. Jis pe Allah ki rahmat nazil ho rahi hai. And we make dua, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showers his rahma and his mercy upon marhuma. Marhuma Safiya Begum Ismail and marhum Abbas Ismail and all our marhumin. Marhuma, the other word that is also used, maghfura. You see ulama ikram when they make dua, marhuma maghfura, oh marhum and maghfur. What is the meaning of maghfura? forgiven. We hope from the rahmat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all our marhum and grant them jannatul firdos. Yes, hum gunagar, yes, yakar. And as long as we are alive, I mentioned this yesterday in my Juma talk as well, unity, muhabbat is very important within the families and within our communities. Love, muhabbat, unity is very, very important. And uh, as long as our Muslim brothers and sisters are with us, we are with them, as their well-wisher, and it is your haqq, haqqul muslim ala al-muslim, it is the right of a muslim upon another muslim, that we should be the well-wishers of our muslim brothers and sisters. You see your brother not reading namaz, adab ke saat, with love, muhabbat, respect, in a very cool, calm way, what you do is you advise him, as, as a well-wisher, that you know namaz is far, you have to read namaz. If you're going for salah, you take your brother to the masjid. Okay, this is how tabligh is done. This is how we carry the mission of Sayyidina Rasulullah. This is what it means to be the representative. Every believer, every ummati of Rasulullah is the representative of Islam and Deen. Not only Maulana Sahib and Mufti Sahib and Hafiz Sahib, but every believer, every ummati of Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But it is very, very important to have a clean heart, that muhabbat, that unity, that love is very important. As a well-wisher, I should educate the community. As a well-wisher, I should address my Muslim brothers and sisters. Not in such a way that I hurt their feelings. Not in that way I hurt their, their feelings. That, that is not nasiyat. Then that's going to lead to a fight, to an argument, to a dispute. Nay, there's a way of giving what? Nasiyat. Pyar muhabbat ke And this is what we learn from the seerah of Rasulullah. Sallallahu, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq and hidayah to make amal. This is very, very important because we see there's so much of disunity, there's so much of hasad, there's so much of hate. You know, in our families too, we see on petty issues we break family ties. Allah Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite the ummah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite our hearts. What the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned regarding unity. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, we see what's happening with our Palestinian brothers and sisters. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala preserve, protect and safeguard. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala shower His mercy upon them. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala assist them with His divine assistance. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala grant them victory in their cause. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala restore their basic human rights. Allah Akbar. Allah Iqbal beautifully says, Dar de dil ke waste paida kiya insan. You know, in Urdu shairi, Urdu poetry, kuch aur hi maza hai. Dard e dil ke waaste paida kiya insan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created insan, human beings, and jinn, for what? 
खेल कूद के लिए नहीं नॉट टू डू विंडो शॉपिंग इन द मॉल फॉर आवर्स नहीं नहीं फॉर वॉट फॉर इबादत एंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इबादत वर्शिप ऑफ अल्लाह सुबहान इज वेरी वास्ट इट्स वेरी वास्ट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इबादत ऑफ अल्लाह सुबहान नमाज इज एन एक्ट ऑफ वर्शिप जका इज एन एक्ट ऑफ वर्शिप हज इज एन एक्ट ऑफ वर्शिप but the concept of ibadat is very vast it is mentioned that when children look at their parents when children look at their parents with a smile on their faces and the parents are also pleased with them even that is an act of ibadat that is not namaz you make ibadat to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you make sadaqa to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is not tilawat of the holy quran you are just making ziyarat you are just admiring your mother you are just admiring your father but even that is an act of of ibadat someone comes and knocks on your door and need some financial assistance and for the sake of allah subhanahu wa taala with ikhlas with khulus and sincerity you have the sail the questioner even that is an act of ibadat to such an extent that the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has mentioned that when a husband takes a morsel of food i'm giving all the husbands this homework now all the husbands and mashallah my islamic sisters this is for you my tawfa gift for you i'm just reminding you what rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said we talk about ibadat that when a husband takes a morsel of food and for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he places it in the mouth of his wife even that is an act of ibadat subhanallah this is the beauty of our deen that is the problem till today aaj tak till today we have read so many namaz our brothers and sisters have been for hajj and umrah some of our brothers and sisters every year they go for umrah alhamdulillah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us with multiple opportunities to visit the holy lands of makkah al mukarram and madinah al munawwarah may we live and die in the city of rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam but we do so much ibadat zakat every year if we are malik in isa we giving zakat ramadan the mashallah ramadan is just around the corner we fast in the month of ramadan some of us every month alhamdulillah khatm al quran but at the end of the day we haven't understood the beauty the husn of our deen the husn and the beauty of our our religion it is very very important to understand the husn and the beauty of our deen how beautiful islam is how beautiful our deen is how beautiful is the teachings of sayyidina rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala wasallam that a husband for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has to take a morsel of food you know maybe you sitting and having dal gosht or biryani and he has to place that morsel of food in the mouth of his wife even that is an act of ibadat for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq and hidayah to understand the husn and the beauty of our deen unity muhabbat is very important what the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said so i talk i spoke about now ibadat allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us for his ibadat what allama iqbal said he says dard e dil ke waaste paida kiya insaan dard e dil ke waaste what's the use of making sajda to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what's the use of i mean namaz you have to read okay five pillars of islam and when to mothers have we learned this okay after shahadat the most significant pillar of islam is namaz fasting in the month of ramadan it is fast once a once a year in one ek ek mahine mein in the month of ramadan zakat is a pillar of islam but that is also fast if you are malik in hisab meaning zakat is fast upon you once a year hajj is fast upon you once in a lifetime once in a lifetime whether you millionaire multi millionaire lekin farz hai obligation once in a lifetime but look at namaz how important it is five times on a daily basis farz upon every believer male and female but i'm saying what's the use of making sajda to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when the heart is not clean when i cannot understand the pain of my muslim brothers and sisters ye dard hai na this is the pain that we have in our heart that in every mafil we are remembering our palestinian brothers and sisters 
Otherwise, we're not related to them. We are not in Palestine. But what has united our hearts? Kalma la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. The nur of Iman, jo hamari dil mein unke dil mein. So Allah Maik Bal says, darde dil ke waaste paida kiya insan. This is why Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has created us. I must understand Ashraf by his dard and his pain. He must understand my dard and my pain. If I can help him for the sake of Allah, I should help him. If he can help me for the sake of Allah, he should help me. Isi liya Allah ne hame paida kiya. Sajda, we have to make sajda. As long as we are alive, jab tak saas chal rahi hai, we are governed by the divine laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to read namaz. But let's ask ourselves this question. Allah subhanahu, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has such makhluk. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has such creations. Allahu Akbar. Nurani creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created them. From the time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created them, they are in the state of sajda. The angels, malaika, this is mentioned in the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu From the time they have been created, they are in the state of qiyam. From the time they have been created, they are in the state of ruku. From the time they have been created, they are making tasbih of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you know, their sajda, their ruku, their qiyam is so sincere. I'm saying, Moana Nadim, when I'm in the qiyam, I'm still thinking about what's going to happen to United this evening. They're playing against Liverpool. <laughs> I said, for and after namaz, one dua for United. <laughs> Allah grant them success. Did <laughs> Jata, Hey, I need to go and meet my friend. I need to take my wife to the hospital. I need to go here. I need to go there. I need to go to the mall. You can have kurta khridna. You know, in December, we are all running to the souk. Al Ansar, from Al Ansar to Dubai, from Dubai to Al Ansar. All that pays on our minds at the time of namaz, at the time of qiyam, at the time of ruku, at the time of sajda. Allahu Akbar. There is so much contamination in our ibadah. That's what I'm trying to say. Look at the malaika. From the time they have been created, they are in the state of sajda. Sirf ikhlas, khulus, merely for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.